Welcome to another episode of Soul Line Success. Today I'm going to talk to you about the number one most surprising and spiritual thing that you can do right now to grow your business. spiritual thing you can do for your business is start making money and earning revenue, right? This is what keeps so many spiritual entrepreneurs stuck in a side hustle is they don't think about their business as a business. They think of it as a side hustle. And because their mindset is not wrapped around treating it like a business, they make decisions based around that. And then the results that they get are based around that. And so then their, their mission is not they're not fully stepping into their purpose work. They're not fully stepping into their mission work. A lot of them are working other jobs that suck the soul out of them that are total soul sucking jobs to them to pay for things. So then they can do their healing work a little bit on the side. And to me, I personally feel the world would be in a much better place if all of the healers and the light workers and the spiritual messengers were being paid abundantly to step up and share their gifts and their messages and doing none of the bullshit soul sucking jobs on the side. And they were fully stepping into their power and their purpose and their gift unapologetically and being the most expanded, abundant, powerful version of themselves and sharing their gift with the world and sharing their healing messages with the world and helping people transform their lives. And I think that they should be abundantly supported and the world would be a much better place if that were the case. And so if you're struggling with money mindset issues around your spiritual business or receiving around your spiritual business, I want you to ask yourself, what is in the highest and greatest good for all involved? What is in the highest and greatest good for your mission? What is in the highest and greatest good for your calling? Is it to stay at a soul sucking job forever that pays the bills, that drains your energy, that makes you burned out and tired and all of those other things like jobs that aren't in alignment do, and then show up and do a little healing work on the side? Or is it in the highest and greatest good to serve as many people as possible during this time of great awakening and help as many people as possible wake up, help as many people as possible heal their inner child wounds, help as many people as possible uh, raise their consciousness, help as many people as possible raise their vibration, help as many people as possible learn how to meditate, help as many people as possible learn how to use mindfulness and holistic health modalities, right? What is in the greatest, highest and greatest good for all involved? And I think you can clearly, clearly see when you ask that question that of course, of course you deserve to be abundant in your spiritual business that money flows to you because it is an exchange of services and it flows through you it flows to you and through you in your business just like everything else so that you can then invest and expand your mission right it's a beautiful cycle it's a beautiful cycle that only gets stifened with a lack mindset or a sense of unworthiness around your gift and the value and the transformation that you bring to the table. Of course, of course, of course, of course, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, it only makes sense that you're abundantly supported on your mission so you can continue to do this work. Without a doubt, hands down, nothing to feel guilty about for everyone that has a sense of shame around receiving. This is a money issue. This is a worthiness issue. This is something that needs to be worked out. It's a, it's a root chakra issue. It's um, some lower chakra stuff that needs to be cleared out so that you can fully, fully, fully own the value of the transformation that you offer, own the value of yourself, your own worthiness, right? In order to live the life that you want, right? Because uh, you deserve to live whatever life you desire and if it is a desire it is something that has the ability to come into full fruition and you don't have to suffer to help other people heal 